got one more scoop, John. Okay. There's one right under there. It's like a good, good, good bet. Damn, you can get a bunch of stuff with this ring. See if this was, if this was from uh, South. Hey, Park. look at that. All of those are rounded. I know it. Uh, that, it Charlie points at the different characteristic of these rocks that we're just getting right now, and maybe that's the key, is they're all, uh, they're more rounded than the uh, South Ray crater uh, rocks are. It's there are a few angler in there, but they're, these are mostly rounded, and I see some uh, little black glass on one, but they're mostly rounded whitish rocks covered with dust, of course. Here's a couple of good ones. Okay, that sounds real good. Okay. That's bag 334, Tony. Okay, 334. Now, Houston, you want us to go sample a rim of this thing again, uh, some more? They want us to get a glass coated one, and there's a good one right up on the. Okay, uh, okay did you and get it? Okay. Did you get your soiler? Do what? Huh? Okay, you Lay got in. the soiler? No, we didn't. I'll get a scoop full. Okay, and uh, you're doing so well Bring inside the rim there. We'd kind of like okay. you to stay inside the wind rim and just kind of work around and see what you can find. Okay. Let me get a set of some soil here. rock that you picked up, uh, and the one yeah, you just have here, can you see any crystals in it? Yes, sir, I sure can. Uh, it's a bluish crystal, a couple of millimeter size. Bluish. Well, that's what it is. Uh, 
what it looked grayish maybe. And it's got uh, one corner of it's got a, a glass ran on it about uh, a center, uh, half a centimeter thick. Okay, we copy that. It looks like, it doesn't look like a breccia, Tony. It looks like a crystal and rock. Outside. And it's got a lot of, uh, it's fine grained. Uh, it seems to be a fine grained crystal and rock anyway, the part that we can see. The particles in it are millimeter size, though, and I see some millimeter size sparklies flashing at me. That's going in bag 403. Okay, 403. Hey, John, let's, with you. let's keep that in. I'm, I'm having about strike out on this rake here. I can't, uh, I get a couple of little ones each time, but, uh, okay, about it. Want to move on around over there about 10 feet or so? Okay. Pick a spot. I'll follow in your tracks. You slide downhill about two inches every time you... I can't get going here. There's a look at that glass-covered one right there, John. Okay, yeah, let's get it, Charlie. Okay. Okay, I'll back off and get the... sun here. Yeah, I'm going to have to get an up sun here or else do a lot of work. It's going to be just one rock and one bank here. Tony, we just picked you up a uh, glass rind, line, rind rock, at least a quarter of it's got glass on it, and it's so, uh, uh, it's so uh, dust covered that it defies description. Defies description. <laughs> 404. Is the okay, bag, bag 404. Y'all got us on the big eye? We well, sure do. Yeah, they do. Close the top, Charlie. Okay. Let me try a rake here. Let me get an after. Get an after, Charlie. Okay. Got it. Here, let me rake up here. Here's some. These are either clods or. <sighs> Be careful, Charlie. That was a whitish rock. That one probably came from South Ray. Wait a minute. Ah, here, here's some good ones. Dusty ones. Yeah, it sure looks like yeah, a good thing we had that rake along. Little rocks. Uh... Go ahead, John. No, I don't. I don't. There's a round one, Charlie. Hey, that's a great one, John. There's a good rock right there. I don't think this is going to be a simple problem, even after you. Ah, we concur, John. You get the we rock sure back do. because there's a dark. The dark. It's 405. Okay. Going back 405. That's a big uh, round, round rock that's dust covered. I see white. Uh, streaks through it, and I can't tell uh, from the glass uh, showing through that I can see whether it's, I, see, uh, I don't know whether I see any glass on it or not, but it's a friable white rock, and it's uh, rounded. Okay, we copy that. Right back 405 with Charlie's, with Charlie's rake sample. Okay. You see, because there's so doggone many, many craters around here, I mean, I understand. We'd like you to find the steepest slope that you can work on there and uh, dig as deep as you can with that rake. Let me do that, Charlie. We were, we're on it right now, babe. I'll tell you. Okay, let me can you dig that. into the face of the slope a bit? Let me, dig. Let me Charlie, let me do that. Okay. 
I'll swap with you. Over the moment. Okay, uh... Watch it now. Hey, why about right up here, John? Here's the deep, sleep, steep part. Or right over there where we walked from. Where are you going? On a steep slope. Okay, right to your left is a good one. Right where we've been. Steep, this is closest to the rim. That's right, right up there. And you don't make much headway. Okay, Tony, he's gone vertically into the wall about uh, a foot, and it all looks the same. Occasionally, you see a white splotch. Okay. Uh, can you, will Rake pull out any uh, rocks in there? Take a rake sample down in the, the hole there. near the surface is a lag surface then? Uh, apparently so because uh, in this uh, in this wall here we're not getting a thing. Okay, why don't you take a soil right there, fill and up the soil bag. Okay, and there's less soil here, I mean less rocks here than on the other side of the crater. Oh, let's go. 
coming out from about uh, six. Uh, Six inches down okay. out of this crater. You know, Johnny, I think we got a running start straight at the rover. We make it up the other uh, side. Let's go the other way. Let's go around the rim. Okay. Okay, the plan back at the rover now is we'd like John to take an LPM measurement, and Charlie, if you could sample around the rim there near the rover, and uh, take both angular and round, whatever you find. Okay, sure will. Really want it. Okay. Yeah, we'd like an LPM. Incidentally, your magnetic field there is about 130 gammas back at the LSM. Now is, it at the, now, is it at the site measurement? Does it agree with that? Okay, I believe it was about 20 gammas less, something like 110 yeah. gammas. Cleansing pretty steeply. Hey, John, it's easier to go straight across. That was fun. Well, I haven't had any trouble. Okay. I have a tough time walking up there on the side. I got here. six feet today, Charlie. Awesome. Of course, 45 feet on an LPM route. <laughs> Don't put me over the edge here. I'm going to go out at right angles to the rover around this crater rim for this measurement, Houston. It may not be exactly 45 feet, but it'll be close. Okay, that sounds good, John. And Charlie, we'd like uh, some uh, fist size samples here. Okay, we got a ton of them. We'll get them for you. Good show. Okay. Lots of luck with that LPM. And John, why don't you take a pan when you document the location of that LPM uh, tripod? That'll take care of our pan. That's a good idea. All right, fine. Good, good head. But I already took one pan. No, they want another one. 